so I leave for a couple of weeks here, just had assignments and quizzes and all that stuff, and uh, I come back, man, and this whole space is just tumbling down, man. I keep up, you know, I keep up with news, like I keep up with, you know, crypto, YouTube, YouTube, crypto, whatever the hell you want to call it. And it's just crazy, man. Bitcoin mega fake out alert, you know, um, uh, Bitcoin bull run canceled um, or oh, V-shaped recovery. Uh, what, what do we have here? Um, is the bull run over the next crash? How to survive? What the hell is going on, man? What's going on? You know, in this video, we're going to talk about crypto.com. So let's just, you know, we'll keep that. Um, I'll get to that in a second, but man, Bitcoin just dropped. Uh, just let me just start. So yeah, I put on some music for you. You know, some some classical music for anti anti this anti anti wow anti stress effects. I can't even speak no more. Uh, just to get you a bit out of this anxious, fuddy, you know, negative space we're in, man. It's kind of crazy, but let's just talk about this right now. Um, Bitcoin is kind of, you know, there's a lot of liquidations that happened today. I haven't seen the reports yet, but I bet you there's a bunch of liquidations. What a liquidation is, you know, the exchange forces you out of your position because you're going to get to zero sometime soon because you over leveraged and you're at 100,000, you know, X leverage. It's not your money. The exchange will protect itself and they will um, uh, overall, you know, force you out of a position. That's what happens. And then you'll see this, that once, you know, a bunch of people would sell forces out of position, forcing out of position, that kind of domino effect goes into the whole order book and you see a flash crash and then even if probably we go to the one hour here see yeah there we just just drops within probably no time i don't know 15 minutes look at this this is a massive drop within no time and it just recovers back up again because it's mainly people getting liquidated so you know that's just uh just a bunch of kids in the market man that's what it is there's no no regards to any kind of risk management happening but let's just forget about all of that man crypto.com um, uh, overall, what I want to discuss in this uh, video is uh, uh, what's have been happening recently. You know, they've been taking out the um, Staples Center um, uh, uh, sign, I guess, uh, overall. And, um, you know, the there's going to be on, I think, December. What do we have here? December 25th, I believe. So, yeah. So the first game at their renamed arena will be on December 25th when the Lakers host the Brooklyn Nets. And that's when we're going to have the whole live from crypto.com, blah, blah. That's when they're going to announce it. So. I think it's pretty good what's been uh, happening, you know, 20 year deal. Uh, that's kind of sad. You know, a lot of people are not liking the fact that Staples Center sign is officially removed, man. The end of a historic era. Just take it off. Take it. Put, put, put crypto.com. Put crypto.com. Um, but yeah, no, you know, I'm not really a big um, NBA fan or basketball fan. So, um, you know, it doesn't really mean that much to me, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people are sad. So, you know. I understand that this is something, you know, sentimental to them. So I can't believe they removed the Staples Center sign like that. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, so uh, we're probably going to have uh, more and more coming up with Crypto.com, even with VVS as well. I'll make another video about VVS. But, you know, I think building up to that is going to be good. And once that starts to happen, I think regardless of what's happening with Bitcoin, man, people are going to be buying crow. And the reason why is this, because... I promised myself that I'm actually going to keep this video short, man. So that's why I'm probably speaking pretty fast. But let's look at this. This Bitcoin right here, right? Bitcoin start to drop. I'm looking at the daily. When did it start to drop? Look at this here. This, it started to drop on November 8th. On the other hand, what happened on November 8th for Crypto.com? We're here. Crypto.com pushed up. This November 8th, pushed up all the way up to what do we have here? 92 cent i believe yeah 92 cent yeah so 93 cent push it putting us 163 percent movement so almost you know um uh, what do we have like 2.5x i would say 2.5x and uh yeah man so uh, again it's telling you there's decoupling from bitcoin that's telling us that the market's kind of separate crypto.com has their own thing going on and that's amazing but the biggest thing that i also wanted to mention is the fact that uh look at this right here uh, where's my brush boom there we have it this is the most telling thing for me so far so we've been dropping let's move this here we've been dropping we're pushed all the way to the top here uh we've been dropping heavy and uh, not heavy really like 93 percent uh, 93 cents here all the way down to here so 48 percent now we recovered up to 30 percent and we're actually staying at minus 34 percent okay great two things that we need to keep in mind this 
this right here look as how as we move upwards the the volume is actually increasing that's telling us that this you know this this is a strong movement to the upside we like it we've been breaking above the volume has been pushing upwards even when bitcoin's dropping that's an amazing sign to me man that's why axie infinity was doing amazing and because sorry there was a lot of you know user base there was a heavy user base that doesn't matter what's happening with bitcoin overall people are using it. it's a game user base is there the use case is there it survived and it kept on pushing up when the whole market back in the day here was just dumping and dumping and just like you know there's a lot of fud in the market not for axie and i think we're gonna have the same effect with crypto.com so as we move up the volume has been moving up all right great i like that but once we reach the top we have this um uh, this uh, uh you know we call it uh it's like this is the indecisive candle basically we pushed up we pushed down but the market closed at a very narrow see this the, the the distance between the open and the close is you know at the same level that's telling us that there's a lot that happened here but mm, no one's deciding yet you know so indecisiveness is not uh, is a sign of reversal we've been uptrending look at the distance between this and this right the opening is here 72 cent and here's 88 cent pretty dominant by buyers next thing you know this shows up and look at the kind of follow through we're having because of that right now we dropped all the way here we saw that this is you know there's a hammer candle but it's you know buyers were not uh, able to push the price above uh, the opening price if it did then we're gonna have another nice follow through to the top but you know buyers were not that strong yet however today we saw that the wick that we put up here last time we actually went to the 47 cent this week we have here is a 51 cent it's above and buyers were actually strong enough to push above and push up to the 59 cents so this is a nice hammer candle go on google check out what a hammer candle means the strength of a hammer candle it has certain strength uh, to it and uh you know hammer candles are basically uh a, a sign of reversal now not only that you got to keep in mind the volume so the volume while we're going up it's actually going up as well great however when we started dropping the volume was actually dropping as well and when the volume is dropping that's telling us that there is less and less interest in the current trend what's the current trend right now if you're looking at the chart you guessed it the current trend was down you know it was a downtrend basically it's going down prices are high uh, going uh, to the bottom that's what we have however this is today is the first day we're having that we're actually having two consecutive green days on the volume so that's good volume is dropping here it's telling me that um there's less and less interest in what's happening that's great so that tells me and i'm seeing a nice hammer candle amazing you know i'm a happy camper man i'm i'm loving how things are playing out right now and uh you know this is a buy zone for me and we said that you know i said that in the last video this is a buy zone for me man because i'm looking at the bigger picture i'm looking at what's happening overall i'm looking at vvs finance i'm looking at b5 or beefy oh i actually didn't make a video about that but i'm gonna let you guys know what b5 or b by fire something that's another crypto.com you know token that i haven't talked about but i'll let you know make sure you comment like share subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can get notified man and join our nice um uh, uh discord we got here but nonetheless uh, uh this is what i'm looking at right now for crypto.com keep it in mind i think there will be some sort of reversal coming up in the next you know you know whatever time here the next week or so but um if we're looking here um let's say something here you know we have a potential to actually go up 50 percent uh, in value and then the downside uh, i think the downside is uh, probably sometime soon is going to subside man yeah, there's too much excitement leading up to the end of december when this is going to be announced and by that time man there's going to be something else but nonetheless i want to keep this video short downtrending volume is going down less and less interest in this price action people are still holding while this thing has been heavily dropping very good sign very healthy signs you know nothing can just keep going up we need to come down at the end of the day and we need to get some sort of breather and that's a breather in my opinion for crypto.com the uptrend is not over in my opinion sometime soon we will retest the uh, dollar region so i'm excited man so uh, let's see what happens uh, nonetheless make sure you you know go google uh, or youtube classical music for anti-stress effects um i wish you well stay healthy stay free sometimes you need to log off youtube man which you know kind of affects us it affects us you know you're not watching us and we want you to watch us you want to have the interaction but sometimes you need to log off a bit so god bless you thank you guys for watching have a great day comment like share subscribe do whatever you gotta do man peace out